Hello world and grace to you. Today I'm in the 2014 Nissan Pathfinder and I am a Zelda YouTuber as you guys can see clearly obviously uh, you know that's all what you wear you know they, they say the clothes make the man at least that's what I've heard and today I am a Zelda YouTuber since this is a video on YouTube and I'm wearing Zelda merch in any case I'm not a Zelda youtuber uh, I want to be but I don't have that kind of knowledge about Zelda but I do love the franchise but I am gonna make this a rant because I do want to rant about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom all right and I mean I, I get it everyone loves it I mean as of right now um, from what I remember Breath of the Wild is considered it is considered the best Zelda game of all time even better than dare I say it Ocarina of Time which is my all-time favorite and yeah I you know I, I do like a lot of the other Zelda titles of course I do uh, my issue with Breath of the Wild and with Tears of the Kingdom is not that they're bad games because they're not I actually love the games I love both of them I think Breath of the Wild was an awesome game I think Tears of the Kingdom now that it's out and I've played it I think that that too is an awesome game. I have no issues with the game itself. The issues I have, what are you doing? Go! Man don't know how to drive. Sorry guys, this man pulled out and he was waiting for four cars to go before he made his left turn and I had to wait for him because he's even blocking my path. Terrible. In either case, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, for all those who are fans, before you guys get angry, and leave some type of comment saying, you don't know what you're talking about. I probably don't. I'm not truly claiming to be a Zelda YouTuber. I'm not claiming that. But I do have some issues with the game, and with both titles, because although they are great games, to me, subjectively speaking, and I'm pretty sure I can get a few others who would agree, they don't feel like Zelda titles. This, this is a bad driver, not only not only did they block the road earlier and not know how to turn, they're turning from a non-turning lane. It's, it's blowing my mind. It's just blowing my mind. In either case, getting back to the rant, the issue that I find with these games is sort of that it seems to be a reboot. And Zelda didn't need a reboot. The, the, the Legend of Zelda did not need a reboot. It seems like they've completely got rid of all the timeline and I get it, the timeline for these games are very convoluted, very complicated, very difficult. Uh, insert adjective here to describe how hard the timeline is to be understood. I get it. But, but still, there was something there. You know, I, I love not only the Zelda, the Legend of Zelda games, but I also love the Legend of Zelda YouTubers who use those timelines to come up with these theories and lore that just makes the games so much better. And now with Breath of the Wild and with Tears of the Kingdom, I see the Zelda YouTubers out there trying to like, oh, well, they probably did this for this or that, you know, and they're trying to force it. But I personally think that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have gone astray. They are a reboot or a soft reboot or what, whatever is the proper terminology that should be used. Insert here. <laughs> uh, because we, we are not seeing the Triforce. How am I low on gas already? I don't believe this car. In either case, I'm, I'm, I'll make it to where I'm going. So where, where's the Triforce? That's my biggest question. You know, and I've, I've, I've seen a YouTube video recently saying how maybe they wanted it to like get lost or forgotten or whatever, but I mean, didn't we go to the very first King of Hyrule? Did the first King of Hyrule not know about the Triforce? Did Ganon not know about the Triforce? And if so, why not? Why was the Triforce not there since the goddesses who made the Triforce are the creators of the universe, of at least their world, and gave them the gifts of the Triforce? So it doesn't make sense why that would be missing. And listen, I'm not saying that it needs to play a main role in the game. I'm just saying it should be mentioned on where it is and what's going on with it and why Ganon is going after these uh, little tears, the tears of the kingdom, right? Why is he going after the tears 
versus going after the Triforce? Why, is it, why has the Triforce been downgraded? Why are these tears that are created by mortals, right, who die? You have to take the tear to become a mortal and you become an immortal dragon. It's, it's nonsense to me. How is this a stronger relic than the Triforce? It's, it, especially since if you collect all three pieces of the Triforce, you can have any wish you want granted. Apparently, that's a part of the lore of the game. And I don't understand why would they erase that. And then we also have, like, you know, the first King of Hyrule being this alien creature thing. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't remember. They, they said what he was. His name is Raru or something under that. And... I'm just trying to understand, how did he become the king? And also, where's where's Hylia? I mean, like, she's another goddess that's sort of missing. And yeah, there are allusions to the Triforce. There's images. We see Princess Zelda with the Triforce mark on her hand. But they don't talk about it. And then all of these other, you know, Kaisin YouTube, uh, video YouTuber, Legend of Zelda YouTubers, discuss on how all of these uh, clothes that you can sort of get, these clothes, the armor that you collect for uh, especially Tears of the Kingdom, because you can find them in all the treasure chests throughout uh, Hyrule, um, is that apparently that makes it canon, as if like it's it has to be connected to the to franchise, but I don't think so. I think it's, it's they just wanted it to be fun. I think the creators were like, you know what, it'll be fun just having this, and I agree, it is, it's fun, I love it. I love because I can, I can do that. I, I can, I, I, the, the name of, of him escapes me, but, but being the God Link from uh, Majora's Mask, um, I think that's awesome that you can do that, that you can get dressed like that, that you can get the sword. I mean, that's just, it's so cool. So, so like I said, I love Tears of the Kingdom, and I love Breath of the Wild, but I hate getting rid of the timeline, getting rid of the Triforce. Um, like, I mean, just retconning all of the old games, and it, and I'm just trying to understand why. Zelda was not doing bad. Zelda was not in a place where, like, oh my gosh, this, this franchise is failing. Because it wasn't. I mean, yeah, it's not as successful as it is now since Breath of the Wild. I do agree. I do agree that since Breath of the Wild, um, it's exploded. It's exploded, and there is a whole new generation of uh, Legend of Zelda fans out there and I love that because that only means that the Legend of Zelda franchise gets to continue to grow and I am for that. I just don't understand why we had to go so far in changing the very lore of the game and mess with what I believe to be key elements of the game. I don't think that that's necessary. I don't think that it's needed. And maybe you disagree. Maybe you don't think it's a reboot. But we're not going to find out until we get the very next Zelda title, which is probably not going to be at least for another six or seven years on the next hardware. Right? I mean, on, on whatever the, the Switch 2 is going to be. Hopefully. Right? And, and that's my problem with this. You know, it's like, once that one comes out, we'll see. Is there going to be Triforce? Are we going to talk about that? Because we have to wait a long time. Where's Miyamoto to give us at least answers? You know, so, or, or, or whoever else worked on it to just give us some type of answers about like, well, the reason why we didn't want to talk about this is because it's, you know, whatever, whatever. You know, give us some type of answers. You're, you're leaving us without answers. And then even there, right? I mean, they <laughs> they come against their own, their own situations. Um, you know, like when Princess Zelda, uh, she was told if she swallows the tear she'll become an immortal dragon but there's no reversing that and she's basically going to be sort of mindless but yet she remembers everything once link pulls the master sword from her head and then on top of that somehow some way they're able to undo what was impossible to undo so that that just doesn't make any sense to me so what are your guys' thoughts i mean i I'm not angry at Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. I truly did enjoy those games, and I look forward to continue playing them because they're awesome games. They truly are. I just don't think that they're Zelda games. I think that they made amazing adventure platformers, I guess. I like using air quotes. 
and they just slapped the Legend of Zelda title, sort of like what they did with Doki Doki Panic, right? That's how we got Super Mario Brothers 2 for the Nintendo, because uh, Japan thought we couldn't we couldn't handle it, so they was like, you know what? Just give them Doki Doki Panic, and you know, slap a skin on it. That's that's your Super Mario 2. And that's what we got in America. And then eventually we did get the Super Mario 2 and the, the Lost Levels. Um, in either case, I digress. You know, that, that's just the way it feels to me. It feels like they're, they're, they didn't truly give us a Zelda game. There are they're elements lacking. And I hate because it doesn't connect with any of the timelines. I hate because there's no Triforce. Although the game is amazing. I really hope that the next main title would get back to the roots. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that the Triforce is mentioned. I hope that we see how the timeline is sort of brought back in. I, I, I hope that we can do those things. I really do. Even now, as I'm in bumper to bumper traffic in the rain, that's what I'm hoping for. Are you hoping for that? I hope that you're hoping for that. I hope that you guys missed the Triforce too. Maybe if enough of us, you know, rant about it and put videos out there asking, you know, where's the Triforce? Maybe we'll get an answer. Maybe not. It's Nintendo. Nintendo don't like its fans. So, in either case, it's a long video. Sorry about the long ranting, but I had to get that off my chest. It's good to rant, and I'm happy that there are some of you who would watch this video, and dare I say it, even like it, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because I'm officially a Zelda YouTuber now, now that I have a rant on it. I don't know if there's going to be any more videos based off of Zelda, but hey, why not? If you guys tell me you want me to talk about something, I'll try. <laughs> uh, in either case, uh, I will see you guys in the next one and may grace be with you.